Animal Interactions Part 4 Competition is a kind of interaction where one organism confronts the other organisms for dominance. This interaction can occur within the species or between two different species. Competition can occur at individual level or at group level. There are few causes of competition. Food, shelter, territory, mate. Of course, when you win the territory, there will be shelter and food comes along with that win. In case of intraspecific interaction, it is food and the mate are the main root causes of the competition. Normally, the intraspecific competition does not have a tragic end. Whenever there is a food, a group of crows gathers. But there is one individual who is dominant. When it arrives, others have to give away. Now this dominant individual normally shows aggression. Whenever it enters a group, there will be a kind of small physical interaction or sound interaction to show the dominance. For example, in case of lion, whenever there is a prey which is brought down by females, when females are feeding, there are few dominant females who likes to dominate the best part of the prey. When the most dominant individual, the male comes, he shows aggression. There is a bit of snarling, growling, eye contact and few punches that decides the dominance. It is aggression behavior normally shown by the dominant individual. This aggression doesn't last long. In case of herbivores, let's say deers, you may see sometimes two males entangling their antlers. It is a competition to decide who is the dominant. It is called as the pick order. So it is a matter of few seconds or few minutes where both of them they judge their physical endurance and physical competence. The one who is dominant will rule the group. He is called as the alpha male or alpha female. In case of pack of dogs or hyenas, only the alpha male and female can breed, others cannot. This kind of competition, intraspecific competition, it bit uncommon in invertebrates, the smaller organisms. Elephant seal, a male likes to hold on to its own territory. He is called as the beach master and there is a harem of females within his territory. So the number of females in his territory have chance to mate with him. If beach master sees other male arriving in his territory, there will be a fight. The beach master will trample his own pups or some of the females to death. It is just a rush of adrenaline. The carnivorous animals mark their territory. So, some or the other time there might have been some interaction between them, mostly by sound very rarely physical, which decides who is the dominant and who is not. So whenever these carnivores are marking their territory, they use urine. So other competing individual will know that the competitor has just passed by. If it is dominant, the competitor will not indulge in competition. In case of interspecific competition, it is normally for food. There is an eternal competition between tiger and leopard, lion and hyenas and it is merely for food. So when leopard kills the prey, it tries to avoid confrontation with tiger, not only tiger but wild dogs, sometimes hyena. So the leopard takes up his, his prey on the branch above so that no other predator can disturb him. The competition goes so fierce that tigers are known to 
kill leopards. Lions are known to kill hyenas, their pups. If there is a lot of adrenaline rush, the interspecific interaction can end in a tragic consequence. A death of a loser or a serious injuries which might lead to death. Finally, is the dominant individual or group gets a right over that entire group so that alpha male and alpha female can dominate and regulate the group activities. They get right over food, territory and mate. Therefore, the competition is a nature's way of ensuring that dominant and healthy genes are passed on to the next generation. Survival of the fittest. Antibiosis. It is a kind of interaction where one organism secretes some chemical which are detrimental to the other organism. So the partner one who secretes chemical does not get benefited at all, but the partner two who receives the chemical dies. And there is a kind of zone of inhibition around the partner one where there is no partner two to be seen. This kind of interaction does not happen so commonly in the nature. It can happen in controlled condition in laboratory. The best example is creation of antibiotics. Thank you very much for going through the presentation. The suggestions are welcome.